I am literally just jumping right in. So uh, let's start with the primer. So this is the primer that I'm using. Everything obviously is <clears throat> Revolution Pro. This is the Blur Stick Plus. It's universal face primer with vitamins B5, C and E. Oh, that's a very big stick. Yes, I just put it around my face. It's got a very nice smell. It's like a like a spa. I don't know if it's like actually blurred anything. But I think once you put down the foundation, it will obviously <clears throat> make more sense. Okay, that's done. Uh, on with the foundation. So the foundation I have is a CC Perfecting Foundation. The colour I have is D -D -D F3. You know what, this really is, it looks quite similar to one from Estee order it's very very similar exactly the same tube and the pump uh, I'm not really sure what this will look like in terms of color match because I got everything online I wasn't able to try it this is what it looks like it's very very thick um, but we'll see how we get on I think the color is not too bad actually but I'm going to start doing this with my fingers first <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens oh, it's very very thick. This feels like a face mask. <laughs> I usually don't um, take my foundation all the way up to my and like under my eyes, but I think we just might have to. I am using a beauty blender now or a sponge. I've actually got their mirror as well, which is really nice. There's a Revolution Pro on it. It's actually really good quality. It looks like medium coverage in on the camera. However, in real life, it looks like... It does look like a CC cream, uh, but a very dry one. So it's not like moisturising. It's not glowy. It's very... It's like a very, very thick... Like, can you see that? I mean, I could easily use this as a concealer and it would actually work it hasn't covered any of my redness around my nose um you can still see my freckles um but other than that it's okay um I, like i said i don't hate it but we will we shall see what happens so let's set that uh with this so this is the glam mood banana light there you go this is what it looks like so it's a very finely milled, like a yellowish tone powder. Okay, the powder is very, very finely milled. So I do, I do actually like that quite a lot. It's very light where I can't, like, I can't feel it on my skin. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that turns out at the end of the video when I do like a close up. Okay, so for the rest of the face, I have like a few things. So um, I have got this uh, Revolution Pro, Pro Glam Mood Light Palette. And this is what it looks like. So you've got the bronzer, the highlighter and the blush. They're actually quite nice colours. Um, I'm not sure about the, the blush though because it's very, very orange. Another option that we have... This, which is the Goddess Glow Lumi Sticks, where it looks like you twist it up, and then you've got that glowy. That's really nice. And then we also have this Shimmer Brick. Uh, so this one is the Goddess Glow Shimmer Brick, called Solstice. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Not bad. It looks very dark in the pan, but then when you put it on your face, it's almost like much warmer and I'm having to build it up quite a lot actually I'll send my heart as a gift. 
look does it make my face look a bit muddy i think it does okay um blush let's see what the blush is like yeah it's it's orange um i'm sorry doesn't it <laughs> It looks actually quite bad on me. Uh, I'm not going to use the highlighter from the palette. I'm just going to use the, the shimmer brick that they have. I'm literally just going to swirl my brush around in the whole palette and then see what colour we come up with. That is shimmery indeed. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, that was quite a lot. I will need to tone this, <laughs> tone this down. Um, I look like i have literally been burnt by the sun really really badly okay so eyebrows are done please don't look at them honestly they are an absolute mess at the moment so for eyes i have again two products i've got two of these lusters so one's a gold luster and one's a bronze luster they look absolutely beautiful in the pot but it just depends on what they look like on the eyes so these are what these are the ones this is the bronze one this is the gold one oh they're very creamy oh wow beautiful oh that is gorgeous um and then i also have um a palette it's called desert haze and this is what it looks like so they're very all very very shimmery um, I'll just do like a quick swatch for you here oh wow that is beautiful now this is what I'm talking about this is beautiful oh the pink oh and the green is just like a goldish green <coughs> I really don't know what to do now I'm really confused I do want to use like the the pots as a base and then I'm gonna like kind of spread it out something uh, let's see okay let's start with the bronze base because that's what I, I like like bronzy colors especially they look really nice on brown eyes oh, wow. oh that is beautiful it's very creamy but it's just so easy to put on like literally i just use my finger but check that color out that is beautiful um what i'm gonna do now is i do want to use some of these colors so i'm just going to take the bronze from there i like, kind of use use that in my lower lash line just to see the difference in both the colors okay i'm really liking this um i will however just put some color in my crease i'm just going to use the bronzer and bronze up the crease a bit that bronze is really nice but i do want to take like this goldy green color and just put it right in the middle there it's going to give the eye like a, another dimension okay so i'm back with my eyes to finish so i just um lined my waterline and my tight line with the mac pencil called brown border and i am doing a review of this mascara so if it's already been out then you might know what it is if not then you'll have to have to wait <laughs> um right so <clears throat> For the lipstick i actually got two glosses from them uh the lip line i'm just wearing that i usually wear this is the one from nyx i want to say yeah and it is called uh nude truffle so i have got two lip glosses from them that's what they look like uh one is called da -da -da, nude illusion which is this one uh, like it's like a brownie nudie color and the other one is called never ever which is a pinkish color um i think owing to the look that we have with the eyes i think we would go with the nude but i think that's actually a really really good gloss um like he's like you know it gives, it gives like a really nice sheen instead of like a in your face shine i really like it um 
since before it has like kind of toned down in the sense that it's I think it's gotten some chance to mix with my natural oils and my skin but obviously there isn't a lot of coverage again against my like on the sides of my nose either there's still you can still see a little, little bit of redness but I think in terms of CC creams that's to be expected I think. So those are my thoughts so far I shall check by the end of the day and yeah we'll see what happens. Okay guys so we are I'm trying to get the nice light here so we are here at the end of the day and this is what my foundation is looking like now overall um there has been some like breakage breakage <laughs> of the foundation here like it's broken down here i'm slightly shiny around this area um it also has rubbed off my chin but you know what i do like touch my face a lot so it might just be that um it has definitely become patchy even more around this area and this area so i think i honestly to be honest I don't think I'll be using this again um, and the only reason is because I think there are so many other nicer drugstore make um, like foundation CC and BB creams out there um, which you can use and which give you a much nicer result it's okay it's nothing to rave about but I personally wouldn't wouldn't use it um, obviously I've been eating and drinking the whole day so uh, the gloss is gone now but it did stay on for quite a while I have to say being a clock gloss it's a very nice finish and it's very um, comparable to the Fenty Beauty one <clears throat> in terms of eyeshadow it's still all there so those are an absolute absolute win I am really happy with the eyeshadows so that's definitely a plus um, so that's an absolute tick for me and a thumbs up for me uh, regarding like the bronzer and blush I'm not really a fan of I don't really see like why would you put like a a yellow mustard weird orange looking blush there are like I do have other orange looking blushes but they're more on the peachy orange side this was like straight up orange maybe it look nicer on darker tones but for me not so much also the bronzer that I used has now vanished from here and is very patchy all over my forehead so I think all in all um, the lip gloss and the eye shadows are definitely a win um, everything else I would give a pass um, the highlighter is still there so maybe the highlighter brick is definitely a good one uh, but the foundation not so much anyway I am off now um, I'm just going to go and wash my face and yeah if you guys found this helpful please give us a thumbs up and let me know if you tried any of these products yourself and i'll see you guys later bye